let us now try to make our first uncertainty quantification. We will look at pipetting again and we will look at the volume that we pipetted in one of the previous videos. And we will first look at what are the uncertainty sources that affect this pipetting. And as I mentioned already in that video, they are in broad terms the following. If we look at the volume, then it is affected by the uncertainty of repeatability of pipetting. It is also affected by the uncertainty due to the calibration of the pipette, meaning the uncertainty with which the mark is exactly in 10 milliliter position. It also is affected by the temperature effect. Remember, Water density depends on temperature, therefore at different temperatures actually different amounts of water, meaning different numbers of water molecules are dispensed. There are some other sources of uncertainty that can affect pipetting, but which are not really important in, in our case. But for the sake of completeness, I also will bring these here. We will use dotted line to show that we don't really need to take them into account now. These are, first of all, if the liquid is very different from the liquid with which the pipette was calibrated. Secondly, if the pipette is not clean and the walls will develop droplets on them. So, now we have our uncertainty sources and that's usually the uncertainty evaluation goes, those uncertainty sources are quantitatively expressed by uncertainty components. So to each and every of them we have an uncertainty component. So the standard uncertainty of this volume due to repeatability. This is how this uncertainty component reads. Standard uncertainty due to calibration. And standard uncertainty due to the temperature effect. And you Notice that I'm using the term standard uncertainty throughout now. And this is because for uncertainty evaluation, we always need to transfer, to convert all our uncertainty components to the standard uncertainty level. Let us look now, how do we quantify these uncertainty components? From the data that we have from our pipetting operation, we have information about them. And first of all, the repeatability part, as we saw in one of the previous lectures, can be simply calculate by, calculated by the standard deviation of the individual pipetting operations. And in this particular case, This repeatability standard deviation turned out to be 0 
milliliters. Now, the temperature effect is somewhat more complex to calculate. We will look at that separately, but let us here only say that with our data, the temperature effects, um, effect amounts to 0 0.005 milliliters. Finally, with the calibration part or with the calibration component, as we saw on the pipette, the pipette volume differed from or can differ from the nominal volume by as much as plus minus 0 0.03 milliliters. This now is not a standard uncertainty estimate and there is no information on that pipette what actually is the level or what actually is the content of this uncertainty source. And as we saw in the uh, lecture where I touched rectangular distribution, it is very reasonable to assume that this volume has also rectangular distribution, meaning the volume can be anywhere within 10 plus minus 0 0.03 milliliters. And in order to <coughs> convert this uncertainty estimate into a standard uncertainty estimate, we divide it by the square root of 3. So it's 0 0.03 milliliters divided by square root of 3, which is 0 0.017 milliliters. 